Tired of your presentations putting your audience to sleep? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use one tool to make your presentations more interactive in 10 different ways. Yep, one tool, 10 different features to make your presentations more interactive. Let's get started. All right, we all know that we can make PowerPoints interactive with different media, hyperlinks, transitions, and animations. If those are the tips you're looking for, stop watching this video, take a look at the one linked up above. In this video, we're gonna go over some more modern and unique ways using ClassPoint. It's a free PowerPoint add-in that integrates right into your PowerPoint for easy access. Download at classpoint.io and follow along. Now let me show you everything ClassPoint can do by starting with adding AI into our presentations. Yep, we're gonna use AI in PowerPoint to generate quiz questions based on the information on your slide. So you just need to have some text on your slide or you can have a little bit more information like this slide here. And once you're signed into the ClassPoint tab and have access to all the features that we'll be talking about, you can enter your presentation mode. From here, we're gonna click on the AI button on the ClassPoint toolbar and let's customize our options for this AI generation. So you can pick which question type that you want and set your level based on Bloom's taxonomy. Once that's set, you can go ahead and click generate and ClassPoint AI will analyze the slides for you and generate some questions. If you like the look of the question, let's save it as a slide to better interact with our audience. So you can ask this question verbally to your audience or you'll notice that a ClassPoint question button was inserted onto your slide. So now your audience can answer the question by joining in your class using this class code and submitting their responses that way. ClassPoint actually has eight different quiz question types, which leads us to example number two. Add interactive quiz questions throughout your whole entire presentation. Engage your audience and get them to participate through eight different quiz question types. I won't go through all eight of these question types and how to set them up, so if you're interested, take a look at the link up above to learn more. Anyways, the process is pretty simple. All you have to do is have your question text on your slide and then go ahead and click on the corresponding button. Move this around to where you'd like on your slide and then customize the options here in the side panel. Then during your presentation, you can run this question by clicking on the button and viewing the responses from the participants who are joined in your class. Sprinkle in these interactive quiz questions throughout your whole entire presentation to keep your audience engaged. The third way to make your PowerPoints more interactive is with using annotations and whiteboard slides. Anytime you want to add more notes or highlight key information, use annotations. ClassPoint supports pens, highlighters, shapes, and text boxes. If you find yourself running out of space when you're adding all these annotations, you can always add a blank whiteboard slide to your presentation. You can use any of these pre-made templates or you can set a custom whiteboard that fits your presentation. And a bonus to really engage your audience and pull their focus to one point in your slide, you can check out the laser pen and the spotlight feature. You can access this spotlight by clicking the middle button on your mouse or toggling on and off with the S key on your keyboard. Number four, embed a website into your presentation to better engage your audience. With ClassPoint, you can actually access any website right during your PowerPoint presentation. When you're in presentation mode, click on the embedded browser icon on the toolbar, and then you can go ahead and begin searching the web. To have easy access to any of your sites right when you open up that browser, you can always go ahead and bookmark that site. Then open up your bookmarks and pin that so that it's right on the homepage for easy access. So now when you open up a tab, open up the browser for the next time, you'll see that bookmark right here. To use this in conjunction with tip number three, you can insert this as a slide and begin annotating right on the screenshot of the web browser. A couple more ways to interact with your audience is with number five, quick poll, and number six, the name picker. First, you can poll your audience right during your PowerPoint presentation with the quick poll feature. This is ad hoc, no need to set up beforehand, and you can use these preset templates to quickly get feedback from your audience. With the name picker, you can keep your audience on their toes by randomly selecting someone to participate or answer a question for you. If your audience is not using devices, you'll have to add the names beforehand in your saved classes. More information linked up in the video up above. Otherwise, you can use the name picker with any of the participants who've already joined your class. Then in presentation mode, you just need to click on the spinning wheel to use the spinner, use the card view, or use the auto pick feature. Now, watch your audience get excited or look a little nervous. 
Another way to make your slides more interactive is by gamifying your slides. ClassPoint gives you the ability to award stars at any point during your presentation through the My Class window. You can award stars for a competition of your choosing, like participation, or a different fun game. Or you can use some of the ClassPoint features we've already mentioned, like the name picker and the different interactive quiz question types. As your students are awarded stars, they can level up and earn new badges. Then you can keep track of all of this progress through the ClassPoint leaderboard. Speaking of gamification, that goes hand in hand with competition. You can use that leaderboard that I just showed to track progress and motivate with competition. All the stars that you award throughout your presentation can be tracked in that leaderboard. And if you want to auto award stars and have a little quiz competition, you can use ClassPoint's quiz mode. ClassPoint's quiz mode is just a different form of the multiple choice question. So once you have your question on your slide, you can add a multiple choice button. And this time, just make sure you select quiz mode and select your correct answer. You can adjust the level of difficulty by clicking on these stars, and these stars correspond to the number of stars students will be awarded if they get that answer correct. If you're doing a speed round with lots of questions in a row like this, I highly recommend turning on all of these play options so that you can be as hands-off as possible. Then, when all that's set up, you're ready to run that question. So you can enter your presentation mode and watch your students be motivated to have that competition. Number nine, use drag and drop throughout your presentations. Draggable objects are great for so many different reasons. You can actually drag around objects on your slide to showcase ideas, better explain, and add some excitement with reveal during your presentation. It is so easy to set up. Any shape, text, image that you add in your PowerPoint presentation can be added to be a draggable object. Just select your image and in the more features up here, click on draggable objects and make sure that it's drag enabled. Then enter your PowerPoint presentation, click on the draggable objects icon on the toolbar and begin moving around your objects. And lastly, what better way to make your PowerPoint presentation more interactive and engaging with your audience than with a timer or a stopwatch. During your presentation, if you want to have a break, have dedicated work time, or want to keep track of time during your PowerPoint presentation, open up the timer on the ClassPoint toolbar. From there, you can go ahead and select which tool you need. You can set your time, set your alarm sound, and go ahead and begin. You can also minimize this window or maximize it depending on your use case. And that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. 10 different ways to make your PowerPoints interactive with just one tool. To learn more about all the ClassPoint features that we mentioned in this video, take a look at the playlist here and subscribe to the ClassPoint channel. Give us a like and say hi in the comments.